is it easy to renew a tourist visa in the Philippines? Uh, I've always found it very easy. I know some people have struggled, but it's more a case of keep yourself some passport photos. They're not really fussed if they're the photo booth ones. What I mean is if you've got them done on a piece of A4 and printed off like 16 of them in one go, then sit and cut them with a pair of scissors, you know, with a bit of um, A4 photo paper. I've never had them say, oh, it's got to be like from a genuine photo booth or anything. Um, you just struggle to find a photo booth half the time. <laughs> But always keep extra photos because the one thing that's a pain in the backside to actually come up with, always take your passport with you. They've never really questioned anything relating to ID. I mean, even with the airport, I often put a hotel down because the hotel, the address is like this. But when I put the address for the house, it's about 10 lines, um, you know, because they give you that little tiny bit of paper. You can't fit everything on it. So just be aware of that, you know, it's, it's not difficult. Take a pen with you. It's, it's all about the simple things, preparing yourself. When you go in, just ask the guard, he'll send you, oh, go over and see, the. you know, there'll be a little admin somewhere that has all the paperwork there. You say, I want a tourist visa, and he'll go, oh, fill this in. You need this, you need that, and they'll send you off on your way. They'll point you where you need to go. What I find myself is they've always had either the process in the building or next door. They are never going to send you halfway across town to do something. Everything's on its doorstep. It's actually better than some of the locations, countries I've been in uh, for actually being able to process everything there and then. I mean, in Spain, it's quite a pain sometimes because you have to get your bank. Uh, if you're paying for a visa or something, you've got to get it, the bank payment slip paid. So you, they'll give you... The, the account or whatever that needs to be paid. You've then got to go and find the bank that will take the money, get them to stamp it in that for you, then take it back to them. But everything in the Philippines you can do in the office, or they'll say there's a place next door that'll do the photocopying or whatever. Um, that's, so I would say there's no hassle with doing the paperwork whatsoever. Um, the hardest bit is probably having to deal with the traveling um, because I found myself if, if I was doing a visa renewal I would always make a day of it rather than trying to rush into the city get it all done get out early it's more a case of all right we're going to be in the city for a while go into the city head down to um, Park Mall we'll have some dinner at the uh, the kebab place there I can't remember what it's called now it's a nice kebab place there there's some really good roti um, for the we just take take our time on it don't that's where a lot of people go wrong they stress things and everything's a rush don't rush anything you're in the philippines you're retired you're, you're in a new pace of life you're in a country that a lot slower no, there's no sense of urgency adapt to it because when you adapt to it you don't most of the things that go on that can be annoying if you used to things being done now and all it just fizzles out you just go all right well i'll come back when it's ready I mean, when I first went to the Philippines, just to give you a ticket system, and they, they expect you to sit there for two, three hours. But what I used to do is just head off to a restaurant and just come back. I'm not care, don't care what number I am, because once it's in the process, you can come at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. You're only paying for it and picking it up. So you just adapt to it. See, see how the system is. It's never overcomplicated. It's never a pain but there is often stuff that they, that changes and it's all little minor things but it's more of an inconvenience than anything else because if you filled in the form uh, you know like copy the copy the, the form from last time took it out and filled it in then you take it back and they might give me a different form this time it's little things like that <laughs> it's just just little um little things that you just go oh, okay and just, just get on with it but don't let anybody stress you out. Don't pay anybody any bribes. You have no reason to pay any bribes. Um, I know they will go. Would you? Do you, you know? Do you want help? Do you want to go on the express lane? All this sort of stuff. You don't need to. Just say no thanks. I'll just wait my turn and it, just ignore them. Um, I was talking to somebody this was it last week because he got stuck at the, stung at the airport. That, that cost him a hundred thousand pesos, um, but. The problem is they're, try, they're extorting it in a different way because they know he's a long-term uh, resident 
and he was going back to the US for business. So they knew he needed to leave and they knew him personally, um, which is a lesson he's learned is not to befriend these people. So to be friendly to them, it may be pay to buy them a coffee, but not get too close to them um, because they want to know more about you. But there's no reason you have to, and I personally advise keeping everybody at an arm's length. Right. Thanks for watching.